This is the first video of a two-part video series of building an enclosed portable cooler. This video is a renovation of a used old enclosed trailer that I'm going to convert into a portable cool room. Before I turn it into a cool room, I needed to renovate this trailer because it was old and dirty. The first thing we did was take off the roof. We had to grind off a lot of the bolts because they just not would come out. And we take out all the trim. The roof of this trailer is made out of aluminum as is the whole entire body of it. But underneath the aluminum was about a quarter inch plywood that it definitely had some water damage. And this trailer had water damage throughout. Looked like there used to be a leak and I noticed there was a slight little leak when I got the trailer. I really didn't know how much of this I had to gut out and redo, but after starting to gut everything out, I noticed that it'd probably be better if I redo everything. This is a four x eight trailer. So the materials I had to buy was very minimal. I would keep the floor here, because it looks okay except for that. I don't like this. It's like some of it's soft and you can see all the way through. And this goes all the way through. How am I gonna fix that? It just seems simpler if I just replace this whole thing. I didn't think the flooring was gonna be this hard to take out, but it kind of was. All right, there we go. Yeah, all right, now we can put a brand new floor on this. I don't need the flooring, I decided to use treated plywood and also paint it with some flex seal. They have these scab pieces of OSB wood. There we go. One down. And as we were taking off the walls, I noticed that at one time there probably was an accident on the side of this trailer because in the middle of the trailer was all dented up. It didn't matter because I was going to cover the walls eventually. Inside of the trailer, I decided to use Kills paint. And this is because it is going to be a cool room. So there's going to, definitely gonna be some kind of moisture in here. I think the kills would be very helpful with that. Here we're putting back up the scab pieces after we painted them because it needed this as like a filler piece. And this is to hold on the wheel wells as we screw them in. Before we painted the outside, I sanded down everything. There was a lot of stickers on this that I had to take off with some goof off and a bunch of sanding. We also put some sealant on all the seams in the inside and outside. For the outside paint, I used some Flex Seal to cover and seal all the screws. All the screws in the seams of this trailer. And then I used some Rust-Oleum to paint the outside of the aluminum.
here I'm making sure all the lights have worked and I'm putting in all new lights, making sure all the connections are right. Once I turn this into a cool room, I can't redo the electrical. I also made sure I sealed up any screw holes and seams in the inside and outside. I also painted the top aluminum with some flex seal as well. I installed all new aluminum trim because the old trim was just too dented up and painted on to keep. And I also made sure everything was sealed up. All the trim pieces, I used a lot of sealant on everything. I wanted new tail lights and I could not find any tail lights that would fit in these holes. So I decided to weld up the holes and close them. And this would help me pick any tail light that I wanted to because I'm basically redoing the hole. And after it was sealed up, I screwed and sealed up the tail lights. This thing is so light that you can just turn it around. Backlights are working, yeah. Backlights are working. Side light is working. Side light, yeah. Since it is a smaller trailer, it was fairly easy to redo and renovate. Part two of this video is going to be me converting this renovated trailer into a portable cool room. So stay tuned for that. I'll leave the link down below for a playlist of this cool room and all the videos I did on this. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next one.